Okay, now I am ready to sign into Delicious for the first time. And once again, Miss Decker has been kind enough to let me use her as my guinea pig. So I'm going to go, go to join now. And you'll simply put in all your information. Go ahead and do that now. I'm not going to make you wait for me. Okay, so here we are inside Delicious. And we have a job to do right away. We've already entered our details. Step two is to add buttons. You're going to want to add these buttons to your bookmark bar, the top bar up at the top up here so that you can easily get to them and you're going to these are going to be very important because most of your other bookmarks will just go on delicious so this will get you to that spot so all you're going to do is highlight that link click on it once do not let up drag it up into this bar and let go and you can see automatically it goes in and then what that's going to do is any site that i see all i need to do now is click on bookmark on delicious and it'll it'll have me go ahead and tag that and i'll show you that in just a second the other one we're going to grab is how to just get to Delicious to begin with so you can get to your tags. And again, I just drag it up, let it go, and there we are. I have both of those bookmarks ready to go for when I need them. Once you have that done, you can move on to step three. Okay, so now I'm ready for my last step. Now, if you have some bookmarks from your old PC that you exported, you're going to want to do this third step. If not, go over here, click on your name, and you can just go on your merry way. You're ready to go start finding some sites that to tag and add into Delicious. Uh, those of you who did can listen up now. What you're going to do is you're going to go down here to Choose File, and we're going to look through and try to find that file that we had that um, of the bookmark. So right there it is. There's one that says bookmark. That's the one I want. I simply choose it. Remember you drug that to your desktop from your email. And once I have that, um, it can give it an automatic tag if we would like. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to call it imported. You can go ahead and let it do that. That way you'll be able to find it and you can go back and change that. Um, it's up to you. Um, for my purposes, I don't like there being a tag called imported. I'd like to go back and uh, make those tags myself. So I'm just going to delete it. That's completely up to you. Um, I'm gonna, it's going to ask me, do I want to keep my bookmarks on Delicious private? Um, you can say yes, keep them private, or no, make them public. We're encouraging all of this to be open so that we can collaborate with colleagues. Again, this is your decision, but uh, we, uh, I, I encourage you to share them and make them public so other teachers can get to them. Um, right now, it'll ask you if you want to add a tag automatically to your bookmark. Um, this, again, is your decision. I like to add my own tags because how someone else might describe this site. I might be using it in a different ways, so I'm going to say no, do not add popular tags. If you have a large file, it can take a while for the, the tags to be imported in Delicious. In that case, you might want to click email me when it's done. Um, I can know that these bookmarks I have here are not, there's not a great deal of them, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, skip that step and say import now. And just like that, they should most likely already be in place since I know I don't have very many. So I'm going to go ahead and look at your bookmarks. And here they are, the ones I had before. And what I can do now is go through and I can give these tags if I, if I want to. So um, like this Google one, I could edit and I could call it anything I want. That's the great thing about tags. I could call this um, search. Uh, a word of warning, you can't do spaces. If you do a space, it'll just create a separate tag. So I, if I wanted to do uh, a phrase, I would just make sure not put a space between that phrase. And with each bookmark, I can choose to make a note on it. Um, great site for finding um, information. Make it private if that's one that I definitely want to keep to myself. And once I'm done, save changes. And there we go. At the same time, um, this great Google, mysterious Google site I found, I could share it with someone else um, through Twitter, through email, or through Delicious. Well, I know some of the people that are on Delicious. So what I'm going to do is put in their username if I know someone. And it should find me. And I can just make a little note. Share. And there it goes. And now you can see right there that it's sent it to me. And we are now sharing that site. Okay, I've now switched back to me because I want to give you this view of what it looks like. I, I now see within my bookmarks that I have one new in my inbox. A message you want to have is that uh, shared site from Ms. Decker that she's uh, sent that to me. So what I can do now is I can choose to save it to my own. Uh, tag, uh, my own bookmarks, I can share it or I can say, eh, I got that one, not really worried about it, remove. Now you may be wondering, what if someone sends me a site and I'm not sure if I already have that site? Well, when I go to save it, um, it would usually tell me whether or not and it wouldn't let me put it in and say, you already have this bookmark. I actually don't have that one, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out right now. I want to show you once you start getting some bookmarks in place, how that looks. 
Um, you can see, uh, again, we'd already talked over to the side. These are my top 10 tags, meaning the ones I have the most of. And this is a listing of all the tags I have. This is a site that I had you bookmark because it's one as a corporation. People have been uh, contributing uh, sites that they want on this. Um, so I went ahead and uh, put them all in one place. So you should definitely go and, and take a look and spend some time exploring that and finding sites because it's uh, ones that everyone, you know, many teachers in the corporation have contributed to already. A good way to look at these is through tags. Click on that and you can look at these in a lot of different ways. Uh, one way is like this. You go down here to display options and you see they can be sorted by size, they can be sorted alphabetically, however you want, but it will usually do them in this sort of um, cloud formation. Now when they say sort by size, meaning the ones, the tags that have the most sites are the ones that are the biggest. And this one all the way down here, I probably only have one or two uh, sites uh, that have that tag in it. What I want to do right now is go ahead and show you what we do when we find a site that we want to capture and bring into Delicious. Let's say I am doing a presentation on Twitter, uh, which I am, and I found this great site. What I would do is go up here. Remember we put these uh, bookmarks in. and I'm going to say bookmark on Delicious. It's going to do all the title work for me, the URL work for me. It's going to recommend some tags down here. And I actually, that's one I was thinking of, and that's one I was thinking of. Um, and I could also put in any others that, that I like, even if I'm making it up on the spot. And I can make a note, make it private once I'm done, save, and I'm done. And I can go on and keep researching. And what, what is a great, great thing with this is when you go back to do a presentation, as I'm doing, I'm doing uh, the, this Twitter presentation, all I have to do is go back and find my Twitter tag. And as I plan, all I do is go through and all this research that I've done, I can pull these sites um, to my Google Docs page or wherever I need them to be and I don't have to do that research from scratch. So this is delicious and I hope you get started right now and start finding some great sites and make sure to share.